We left camp at about 10 a.m. today to go to Rewilding's Dandy Reserve. There was a stream blocking our path to the road, so we walked about 3k to get to the reserve, but once we arrived and saw the empty corrals, we realized we had gone to the wrong reserve. We took a little time to take a water break and then walked in 3k back to the car and finally arrived at Pesto Choique, the right reserve, at about 1.30 p.m. Pesto Choique is a reserve center for Nandu, also known as La Serea, in Chacabuco Valley, run by Wee Wilding, the main animal conservation group for Patagonia National Park. Here, they work to raise baby Nandu, also known as Chiritos, and provide ideal living conditions and resources for adult Nandu to ensure their health and safety. When they are healthy, rewilding then releases the Nandu into Chacabuca Valley to continue to thrive and survive on their own. We worked mainly with Gabby and Barbara. My name is Gabriela Muñoz, I'm a technical veterinary, I'm a guard of fauna in the Parque Patagonia, in the Centro de Reproduction de Nandu. I work directly with them, with the Nandus we have in Corrales. I'm the manager of la alimentación de sus instalaciones, o sea, la limpieza de sus instalaciones, su alimentación, el de agua, todo el que dentro de los corrales. This work is important because Nandu serve a critical role in the ecosystem as they disperse seeds for native flora. This work is also important because Nandu are currently a locally endangered species in the park and they are threatened by hunting in Argentina, competition with livestock, and death due to habitat fragmentation. The Nandu here are separated into three groups, two months old, three to four and a half months old, and six years old. You can tell the difference of age by their feathers. The more white spots on the feathers, the older the Nandu is. Today we're at Puesto Choique and we're going to be helping to clean the crowds and later we're going to be removing fences to protect the Nandu. We split into two groups where some of us cleaned up Nandu scat in the crowds while the other group prepared supplements for the Nandu. The supplement consisted of plantain leaves and clovers. We separated the clover leaves from the stems because the baby nandu were unable to digest the stems and it could cause them to become sick or ultimately die. We did this for a few hours, taking a break from the cold to enjoy hot chocolate and cookies inside. We then walked about 1k east of the reserve to remove old ranching fences that were previously used to keep livestock. Removing fences is especially important in Patagonia National Park because while they cause habitat fragmentation for many species, they may also lead to death because many large animals are unable to easily cross them. In this area, that includes mainly Nandu, Wanako, and foxes. As if to highlight the importance of fence removal, when we arrived to the area, the first thing we saw was a dead juvenile guanaco with its ankle stuck in between two wires on the fence adjacent to the one we were removing that had died presumably trying to jump over the fence. Over the next few hours, we removed about 400 meters of fence, and although it may not seem like a lot, it will hopefully make a big impact. Today we conducted our Nandu census. We left at about 7.30 a.m. and arrived at Entrada Baker, the area just after the police station in Chacabuca Valley. 
All seven of us students were dropped off at this location and then walked to our starting points, while our instructors, Nick, Sarah, and Claudia, dropped a van off on the road at the end of the transects and then drove back in our trusty truck, Blanquita, to get to the starting places. The census consisted of ten separate transects, about seven kilometers long, moving east to west through the landscape, recording any sites of Nandu and Guanaca with our GPS, compasses, and Red in the Rain notebooks. We started at about 10 a.m. and all arrived at the end of the transects by 2 p.m. While I didn't see any Nandu on my transect, I did see a lot of guanaco and guanaco skeletons. We finished the census at 2 p.m. with a total count of 48 Nandu.